once he came to the school for the visit, I saw a change in him. Uh, I saw the way the faculty and the staff spoke to him. It was more positive and encouraging, and I think he really responded to that. They sort of set a standard and expected him to meet it, and he was up for the challenge. And then once he was here and I spoke to him over the phone, said, no, I'm having a good time, everything's fine. I said, do you want me to come visit you? No, you don't have to come visit. And that was sort of uh, heartbreaking but encouraging nonetheless that uh, he was really enjoying it here. So he never complained. He always talked about school and his, his friends and the rewards and the merits that he earned. And he really enjoyed the school. And I think he enjoyed being in an environment that was conducive for him to learn. I think structure was the main thing that my son was missing. And in just a short period of time, I've seen him mature. And I think it's really because of the way things are done here and there's a set process. And he's really adopted to that very well. I think being in a single gender environment is a great situation for a young person to be in. Uh, for number one, it eliminates a lot of the distractions. And one thing I noticed with my son is that um, he wasn't really motivated to be athletic or to be physical, even though he had the ability. He liked playing football but didn't like working out. But since he's been here, he's really taking on more responsibility for other aspects of his life. And so, for example, he spends a lot of time in the gym and working on his fitness because he doesn't have the distractions that can come about when you're in an environment where there are girls and uh, other distractions that are there. Small class size is, to me, one of the most important factors for creating a positive academic environment. The public schools, I think, are great if you're an above average student. Um, my child is, is probably average, so for my son it was easy for him to sort of disappear in the background and sort of get lost. And the other thing that I found in public school is that there was sort of a tendency to sort of pass him on and really not be concerned whether or not he was really grasping the information. And so what would happen is that he'd get a C one quarter, next quarter he's getting a D, and next quarter he's getting an F because he never grasped the concepts from the very beginning. I believe my son could do better. I knew he could do better. I knew he needed a different environment in order for him to thrive. Uh, since coming to the school, he's uh, been challenged to measure up and to get A's and B's and C's, and I think D's and F's are, are really going to be a thing of the past for him.